Hey, this is Liz. I'm a certified computer repair technician, and today we're going to be discussing how to clean and disinfect your computer. Because as, as you know, uh, moisture in computers tend not to mix, so you have to do it just right. We're going to show you how to do it without frying it. You're going to need, as you can see here, a disinfectant and a towel. Uh, rubbing alcohol is what a lot of people use to clean because it evaporates quickly, so it's less likely to fry something. But if you're more concerned with, say, killing a disease like COVID-19, then we suggest using the guidelines for uh, at the CDC. They have some great guidelines for what disinfectant to pick and how long to keep it on there. But today we're going to be focusing specifically on how to use these disinfectant or sanitizers without frying your computer. Um, a second tool that we recommend, you don't have to have though, is a toothbrush or a uh, you could use a hair dryer on low or a can of compressed air to help dry the computer. So first the step, we're going to unplug your computer and take out your battery because one of the ways not to fry a computer is not to have any power running to it when you're cleaning it. It's very important. So now that we have the battery out and it unplugged, we are going to use a toothbrush or you could use a brush uh, that you have and you're going to run it over the keys to get any sort of debris. You can do it a little bit more aggressively but uh, be careful not to do it so aggressively that you pull a key off, the power button, touchpad, good spot to just get any loose debris. Now you're going to take your cloth and you're going to spray it directly on the cloth. Now you're not going to uh, spray it directly on the computer because this is a good way to kill your computer, believe it or not. Because uh, what can happen is it can soak in, you can get little drops on your motherboard and then when you go to turn it on, those drops turn into little sparks and then your computer is no longer functional. We do use uh, disinfectants to clean all the time components on a computer as a computer repair technician as you can see me cleaning a CPU. But one of the things we always make sure is that it's bone dry. So that's really the key in this, is to make sure that all the moisture you get on your computer comes back off. So, as you can see, I sprayed it onto the cloth and now I'm putting it all, wiping it all over the computer, getting all the all the little points. I'm using, I'm using Windex because I'm not actually trying to, I'm not as concerned with my computer getting it disinfected. But like I said, whatever you want to use, go ahead and use it based on your needs. So as I clean the LCD, I don't push down too hard. LCD, L, uh, LCD is very important not to, not to apply too much pressure so that you uh, puncture or crack it. Now I'm going to, I like to just do a nice light spray for each panel. Get it nice and clean. Now I'm going to flip it over and do it the, at the bottom too. Uh, big entry points for when moisture gets in is the vents and your keyboard. Uh, also, as a good side note, uh, what we call this when you get uh, any sort of moisture on your board and it fries it, we call it liquid damage. There's an actual term for it among the computer repair community. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my air cannon, or if you have, like I said, a can of compressed air or a blow dryer for your hair set on cool. And I'm going to really go ahead and, and just make sure I get it all. Now, I know this seems paranoid, but let me tell you, frying your computer is not something that it easily comes back from. So go ahead and just lightly blow all over it and make sure that you have no moisture left over. And like I said, the keyboard's a big cause, so make sure you get that really well. Like so. Now, if you don't have an air cannon, you can also just leave your computer to dry. We'll show you how at the end. And then like so, we'll do the bottom once again, making sure to get the vents really well. Because if you use some sort of like a rubbing alcohol, say 70 to 90%, uh, it tends to evaporate really quickly. But if you use a disinfectant that's a little bit heavier duty, your computer will be cleaner, but it will be uh, a little bit, you'll have to make really make sure you get it dry because it doesn't evaporate as quickly. So I would use, I'm using just my regular cleaning cloth for purposes just so you can see it, but I would use a dry cloth and leave it like this and then switch to this each for a couple of hours or even 24 hours of drying because the goal is to have it be completely dry, but that's how you do it. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or you're an egghead like us, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.